The Graveyard Shift is a 1990 horror film that is loosely based upon Stephen King's novel of the same name. It is about a drifter named John Hall who comes into a small town called Maine looking for work and finds employment at a textile mill run by the very sinister and devious Mr. Warwick. Now this textile mill is infested with rats and we are introduced to Exterminator played by Mr. Brad Dourif and is probably the standout actor in this film. He's great in this role, super funny, super convincing. For those of you that aren't aware, Brad Dourif is also the voice of Chucky in Child's Play. He was in various horror films, he's popped up everywhere and he's definitely a veteran in the acting industry, especially when it comes to the horror genre. But it does prove to be an impossible task for the Exterminator to rid the mill of this rat problem. So the owner, Warwick, arranges a team to go into the basement and clean it out themselves, kill all the rats and try and get this mill into a safe, working, hazard-free environment so he doesn't get any problems from the health and safety officials. And of course, people are mysteriously disappearing and being killed. There are freak accidents in this mill and we soon discover that what the problem is, not the rats, well rats, the, the rats are a problem, but the bigger problem is that there's a huge bat, monstrous bat, living down in the basement of this textile mill. When you first watch this film, you might think it's a large rat, but then obviously you see that it has wings. So I guess bats are have been referred to as rats with wings, which isn't much of a spoiler because you do actually see this monster quite early on in the film. And of course, being stuck in this basement, the workers and Warwick himself have to come face to face with this evil bat, as well as dealing with Warwick himself, who seems to go crazy and, and tries to actually kill a lot of his employees himself. I haven't actually watched this film since I was a kid and I've always been meaning to re-watch it. However, my memory of this movie was it didn't compare to my favourite Stephen King films, which are It, Sleepwalkers, Christine, Tommyknockers, Sometimes They Come Back, so on and so on. All those classics that we all love and enjoy. Oh, as a kid, I remember watching this and I wasn't too impressed. In fact, I was quite disappointed. And I've always been meaning to re-watch it, but I guess having that final thought in my mind didn't really motivate me to seeing this any sooner. But what I'm doing right now is re-watching all of Stephen King's movies. I'm reading all of his books, everything from scratch all over again. And I'll be doing videos pretty much on every movie that I've uh, ever seen with Stephen King and well, I guess all of his movies in general. So stay tuned to the channel for that. I'll be talking about all of Stephen King's films. So as far as Graveyard Shift goes on my evil scale out of 13, I would have to give this an eight out of 13. It is quite enjoyable, but that lasting memory as a child when I watched this, it's still there. Nothing's changed. I still think it's definitely one of the weakest Stephen King films, if not the weakest. But something about movies back from the 80s and 90s just have this sort of nostalgic feel. I definitely was never bored watching the film, but there was no real genuine character development. I didn't really care about any of the characters. The acting was quite mediocre, except for Brad Dourif, who I suppose raises some points for this movie. Just his performance alone uh, scores some points for me, I think. He's definitely the most memorable in this film. And I was thinking of scoring this as low as a six or a seven, but with Brad Dourif, and it's, it's a Stephen King movie that I, I, I did enjoy watching, even though it's not something that I could repeatedly watch over and over again like the favorites that I mentioned this isn't something I'd go out of my way and choose to re-watch anytime soon sure I'll sit there if a friend or somebody suggests that we watch this I'll gladly watch it with them but it's just not something that's gonna have that effect on me where I can just watch it over and over and over again like those other films that I mentioned so it's an 8 out of 13. If you haven't seen it, you're not missing out on all that much. But if you're a Stephen King fan in general, then it's definitely worth checking out just to see what this film is all about. I'm sure the book is a lot better and I have heard people complaining that it didn't stay true to the book. So not everything can be a winner. This one's one of the weaker films in the Stephen King legacy. Totally up to you if you watch it. Stay tuned to the channel. We'll be talking more Stephen King in the following days.